episode, we want to speak about life-giving speech. There are three main roles the scripture ascribes to our speaking. The first thing we must understand is that our tongues have the power to speak life or death. We can quicken hope, create motivation, kindle inspiration, expand expectations, or we can dishearten people and cause others to feel diminished. Our tongues have the power of life and death, and if we use our words carefully, they will build others up. The second category the scriptures assigns our tongues is the power of direction. We can direct other people in a desired direction or carelessly steer them towards shipwreck. James uses the analogies of the bit in the mouth of a horse or the rudder of a ship. In both of these analogies, the small member has the power to steer and direct. Now, our speaking makes a difference to others around us and where they end up. And this is especially impactful to those who live with us consistently. Our spouses and children are designed to be the first recipients of us using our speech to steer them to safe harbors and desired outcomes. The third category the scripture assigns our tongues is the power of definition. This was God's first great gift to Adam. He allowed him to name everything. Words have power, especially in definition. So let's be very careful with nicknames, jokes or comments because they have a defining power. Define people in your life in line with how God sees them. God often calls the things that are not yet as though they were and asks his people to do the same. Now when we practice and become better at deliberately using our words for life and direction and definition that is godly, we reap a great harvest. If we are careless or vindictive in what we say, our speaking becomes a tool of death and destruction. So in this new exercise, we recommend that you think through each family member in your family, from your spouse to your children, and prayerfully come up uh, with a deliberate saying or phrase that communicates both life or positive direction or a godly definition. I want to give you a brief example that I made for my wife. I spoke about her being uh, the most often sung thanksgiving to God. Uh, I'm very glad that we're together. You make me look good or you make me shine or you make me better. You make me happy. Or I speak often of her as a wife of noble character who is her husband's crown. With direction, I sometimes tell her uh, what you have needs to be heard. I exhort her, go and use your gifts. Go and bring joy to people. Shine brightly today. With definition, I often call her beautiful lady, sometimes beloved of Jesus, my great love, perceptive and prudent gift of God. You will be amazed at how if you take a little bit of time to think about life or death, direction and definition with your tongue, about how much power it has to launch people around you into blessing. We hope this exercise will be helpful to your marriage. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Marriage Matters.